very beautiful MK Love fam. Welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guns in the spa bath. Oh my gosh, um, this is the only place I feel comfortable at the moment. Probably because it's Pisces season, it's very watery energy, and I'm being a fire sign. Um, this is where I just feel best at the moment. There's been a lot of shit that has been going down. Mercury retrograde is showing me so much contrast, all the mistakes that I have missed. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'd get out of my comfort zone and get into this amazing spa bath and film weekly angel guidance with you. I'm literally balancing with my foot here, so <laughs> don't slide down. But you know, I'm just gonna go with it. It's out of my comfort zone. I'm wearing my togs on YouTube or bathers, bikinis, whatever you wanna call it. Feeling amazing, you're like, this is my beautiful body. And just be like, this is me, you know, this is exactly where I'm meant to be. <laughs> crazy shit going down and all. Uh, so this week I'm going to be reading the Shadowscapes Tarot, which you guys know is my favorite and being a minimalist, this is my only tarot deck. So I use this every single day. I have my little breadboard down here to, um, to put the cards on so they don't get wet. It's a little wobbly, but we're just going to go with it. I haven't got my mic on today. No ring light. My ring light is in the office over there, but I'm just like, oh, I just, I just don't want to do such a polished video. Um, and as I just said that, there is literally this beautiful white butterfly. Maybe you'll see it coming around here. Anyway, transformation must be the key to this week. So much is going, going on. Um, so anyway, this is from March the 11th to the 17th. This week, we're going through two phases of the moon. One of them being the crescent moon. This is when we refine our intentions and something else. I don't, you're basically refining. It's basically the planning stage. I don't have my computer here. I don't have any of my notes. I just press record. I'm like, ah, uh, surrendering to the process. Oh, what have I done to my arm? Uh, uh. <laughs> um, and then from Thursday to Sunday, we have the first quarter of the moon. This is where you take inspired action and allow it to flow with ease. So let's see what we need to know. By the way, this is just a general reading. So just take from this what feels best for you. And I'm praying everything goes up, goes perfectly and I don't lose any cards because it'll be really hard to get them. Anyways, so let's see what we need to know collectively for our beautiful MK Love fam for Monday. Oh, by the way, if this is the first video you've ever watched, you'll be like, what the fuck are you filming in a bar for? Well, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I make videos every single Monday with this beautiful series called Weekly Angel Guidance, where I help you deal with the energies associated with the week ahead. If you want to know anything about veganism, minimalism, spirituality, check the rest of my playlist. That's stuff that I've done in the past like four or five years of YouTube, but we're in Weekly Angel Guidance now, so. Let's see what we need to know for this week. All right, angels. What do my MK Love fam need to know? There it is. <laughs> First cup. The Page of Cups. Scooter's going past. Oh my gosh, by the way, down the end of that area, that's where Peter got bitten by a dog and we had to go to the hospital and he had to get rabies shots and a tetanus shot. So everything that has gone wrong Anyways, so it's just telling you right now to just breathe. What do you need to do to find your breath as you're going through this massive transformation? You may have noticed that the numbers that you have been seeing um, are completely different to your norms. For me, I'm seeing five, 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 five all the flipping time. And every and the last time I saw that was just before I bought the course that helped me prepare my coaching program, which literally changed my whole life. Um, it, yeah, oh my God, I can't recommend that enough. Um, so yeah, the last time I was on the bricks of something huge was when I did that coaching program. And now I'm seeing it now and I feel like I have to get out of this country. Okay, Page of Cups, what does that mean for you? Breathing with these, drinking that beautiful chai tea latte, just taking time to breathe. It's like you don't have to be like, oh, I've got to do this, 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 and this. This is a time of uncertainty. We're in Pisces energy. We are in this dreamy spiritual energy. We are trying to work out what the freaking hell are we doing? And it's okay to not know. You know, it's okay. And I have to tell myself that all the time. Okay. 
So there's a number of cards that came up for Tuesday, um, but the first one that I actually saw is the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is, it's like you have gone through, it's like you have gone through the worst of it and now you're coming out the other side and it's like, um, oh, that song, I believe, oh, I haven't even warmed up my voice today. <clears throat> How interesting is it? I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I dream about it every night and day. I spread my wings and fly away. That's like that meme that was been circulating on Instagram for a while where it says, oh, but what if I, what if I fall? And, and then the mama bear goes, oh darling, but what if you fly? And it's knowing that you can fly through whatever contrast that you are going with. I'm not going to pull the rest of the other ones that came up. Let's just keep it brief for this week. So it's like you have been through the worst. You're seeing the light. You know that everything that you have been through is is helped to char character build. I've never heard I've never heard of it. Build your character is what I normally would hear, but my angel said character build. So it's building a stronger character for you. <laughs> In whatever the heck you're creating. All right, let's see what we need to know for Wednesday. By the way, this is a workout trying to hold my leg here and balance and I'm like squishing my boob at the same time. But the things you do for YouTube for a great shot where the lighting is this way. <laughs> All right, what do we need for Wednesday? There it is. Oh, big wheels keep on turning. Chariot. So you are moving at a rapid pace and you're you're going through so much contrast but this is this is also like i feel of it i feel like it needs to be linked through to the pisces energy as you know last week we had the new moon in pisces and we have mercury retrograde in pisces retrograde if you're new to my videos mercury retrograde is a time that happens three or four times a year it lasts for about three weeks but there's a two-week shadow period before and after mercury is a planet that rules technology communication and transport and it basically shows you things that you have missed. This is where your computer could start acting up. This is when, I don't know, like I've had so many troubles with my computer this week, um, but it's like having the awareness and knowing that it's coming and not being so cranky, it helps you kind of work through that contrast. To me, this card means that you're going in the right direction, which is basically what I said last week, because I'm pretty sure we had this card. And it's like you are going the right way it's not going as fast as you want to you want to this is kind of like where you're trying to as i said last week dot the t's cross no dot the i's and cross the t's you're going through this time of uncertainty but you're there is still movement your angels are like dallin we have this all figured out you thought you were moving to bali no you may be moving to kuala lumpur you may be moving to um what else is on the cards for me london or you may be going to ireland whatever it may be it's this dreamy state that you are going through but there is movement you're going in the right way it's like some of you may have experienced a lot of divine interventions let's get clarity on the chariot and just see what else this this is actually relating to for you there it is oh so we got two cards that came through which was the other two that came under the queen of swords but i was like no i don't want to pull it so the other one is the two of pentacles, which we've been talking about for flipping ages, which is your balance and the sun. The sun will come out tomorrow, bet your bottom down lower that tomorrow. So it's like knowing that you've been through the darkness, as I've been saying before with the queen of swords, you have been through the worst of it, you know? It can only get better now, whatever the lyrics are to that. So it's like you're finding your, well, this whole year so far has been all about balance. All right, let's see what we need to know for Thursday. All right, clarity on Thursday. Anyways, I hope wherever you are in the world that if you're in freezing cold that you're wrapped up lovely or warm and you have your beautiful cup of tea or if you're somewhere hot, you're in the air conditioning or you're near the beach or you're in some type of water. I just thought of that just then. I'm like, I keep like, yeah, I know that you guys are like all these little numbers on my screen, but you guys are more than that. You are my beautiful MK Love fam. And I just wanted to just take a moment to just say like, I'm thinking of you. <laughs> that just came up as I was thinking of Thursday. So 
Oh, okay, so the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is speaking into existence what you want. This is the Law of Attraction. This is visualization. This is Rampage of Appreciation for my beautiful coaching clients who know about I'm doing lots of Rampage of Appreciation. This is knowing, this is like being sure of yourself too, but knowing that what you say and whatever, maybe this is you speaking up for yourself. Maybe this is the first time you like, I am where I am and it's okay. I'm not settling for all this bullshit. I am worthy of this luck style lifestyle. I am worthy of driving this friggin' Range Rover of Vogue. Range Rover? I can't even remember what the car is, but I want to evoke. I can't remember who makes it. Um, the black roof, black rims. Mm. Damn, that's my dream car. Speaking into existence, for me, what I have been going through this week is like, I want long-term stability. I'm like, I want a home. I don't want to be moving everywhere. I, you know, I want a home, a home to, to work, to feel creative, to feel nurtured, to raise a family with my beautiful husband. By the way, guys, I got married last, last month. <laughs> oh my God, there was so much going on. I was just like, I don't know how to tell you. And I've kind of said a little bits of you been following me on Instagram, but surprise, <laughs> follow me on Instagram and I'll do a IGTV eventually. Oh, okay. So for Friday, we have the nine of Pentacles. So this is abundance is coming to you. And it's like the abundance had to go through a lot because we've got a piano here and you've got some trees growing through the piano, but you have this beautiful like stained glass window with the star knowing that this, the star is like the intuition, the higher knowing, the universal knowledge, intelligence that is coming down through you through meditation, which is an amazing way. But this is like doing what you love despite the contrast. It's also solidifying your why. Like why are you doing what you're doing right now? Why, what's the bigger message? It's like if some people are like, I want money. Why do you want money? What's the importance of money to you? What is that money going to do or allow you to do in your life? Like for me, why do I work with my beautiful coaching clients? Why do I want to help them heal their childhood trauma? Why do I charge a certain amount? Why, why do I want this dream home? What does that mean? You know, what does that actually mean? So this is an opportunity for you to be like, as you were going through, because this is actually the action phase of the moon, knowing that why do you want to take action? Like what is getting you out of bed every single morning to propel you to this journey to where you want to be? Like, why are you taking action? Like, why is this so important to you? And as soon as you have a strong enough why, um, and it's not about, I want to make like $20,000 this month. It's like, why? What is that $20,000 going to allow you to do? Is it going to help you save for your dream home? Is it going to allow your husband to not work? What are you, what's the premise behind it? I think that's what I'm trying to get to with that one. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So see what we need to know for Saturday. So this is still in the action phase of the moon. There it is. It just came out. Okay, so there's a number of cards that came. Saturday we have oh, the Ace of Cups. So that's the beginning of a new emotional journey. I feel like we've been pulling that a lot. There's a number of cards that came with that. I'm just gonna go with it. So we've got the Seven of Cups, which is like imagination. This could be uh, like a lot of, like there's two people here. It's like, which way, which direction do I go? There's so much confusion right now. <laughs> there's also the Two of Swords being, being like a stalemate, not seeing what's in, in in front of you and then we've got the justice card which is like the balance balance being restored which we've known about because this has been the focus for three months now so balance is huge i feel like figuring out what is your why like why are you working towards what you want wanting to do why are you prepared to do things that you've never done before to get the results that you want like why are you at this level now why are you so hungry to achieve the success because you weren't like this last year. So something has shifted. Um, and I like that we also had the, um, the two of swords, but then also the seven of cups to be like, oh, the possibilities, but also like dream big, like reach for the stars. You know that S club song, reach for stars. Um, climb every mountain higher, reach for stars. 
Then da 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 so just dream big, that's what I'm saying. Be easy on yourself. And as you find the areas which are unbalanced in your life, you're restoring them. And the angels are making it perfectly clear to you right now what you need to do. So don't be afraid to take action. If anything, if you're in alignment with your goal of where you want to, you want to take action. You want to get out of bed. All right, let's see what we need to know for Sunday. There we go. Sunday, ooh, the Six of Pentacles. Oh, this is like the this is like giving and receiving, but this is also cycles of like you in order to in order to help in order to get that money for you, you have to help somebody. Um, and for someone for you to help someone, they have to pay you. Well, they may not have to pay. They could pay you. It doesn't have to be financial because they could pay you in your time by money, whatever it may be. I'm not always a lover of this card, but this is like cycles. This is about the Piper who's just like on his own little journey going do, 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 do. But it's like there is abundance that is spilling out from underneath him, which is helping to create this beautiful plant underneath. They're both very separate, but everything is all very much interconnected. Interconnectedness. Whoa, shoot, that car went crazy. Okay, the Emperor. So you have to put in your structures in place in order to find this balance of interconnectedness. Ooh. All right, let's see what the focus card for the week is, and then I'll leave you be. One card for the focus of the week. The 11th to... Oh, gosh. Okay, so there's two. It's interesting, the first card that came up is the Two of Cups. So this is partnerships. Partnership with yourself, partnership with somebody else, a business partnership, a friendship partnership. This is working with somebody else, a coach, mentor. I've been talking about this for so long. I'm getting, it's like the same cards come up every single week, but it's slightly different. And then the Empress, which is interesting that we had the Emperor and the Empress in the same week, the balance of the masculine and the feminine. The Empress is nurturing, loving. She's a mother. <laughs> Butterflies represents the circle of life, transformation. There is so many beautiful, like, um, roses underneath her and she's just like oh, it's like she just puts her intention out into the world and then all of this delicious comes in like she's very free she's very liberated she's just beautiful like the empress like she is the divine feminine she is the mother she is the carrier of child birthing new projects birthing a child birthing Something that sparks joy for you, starting something new. This is you. I don't know, what, what comes up for you? What's the first thought that came up? Don't second guess yourself because within five seconds, fear is going to chime in and be like, you're not good enough. You're not going to do it, you know? <sighs> Crazy. Amazing week. What is the focus? How would I summarize this week? You need to breathe, knowing that you've been through the worst, you're finding your balance, you're speaking what you want into existence, you're putting in your structures in place, you're taking inspired action, and you're at a new level where you're dreaming so big. And you know what the thing, the thing that happens when you dream really big is it scares a lot of people around you. They're like, um, I always said um, to my family that I'm going to build a shipping container home. Um, and then I got into tiny houses and I remember when I first met Peter, I said, what do you think about living in a shipping container? Just throwing it out there. And he's like, oh my God, dream of mine. And, and that's what I'm visualizing right now. I'm dreaming of a home, a shipping container that I can transform. I probably will have multiple cause I'll have one just for my office, um, that I'm going to soundproof and then I can sing really, really loud and Oh, and just have my studio set up. I'm going to have a sound booth for recording my meditations. The most beautiful backdrop drop full of plants. Um, I'm going to have a swing in there. Probably a little couch. Has to have a tea area with all my favorite teas. Oh, the most handcrafted. Like, it gets me so excited talking about this. Like, these beautiful, like, I love teacups that are made with love. And I went on anthropology the other day. or well, yesterday as I'm dreaming about my dream home. Because my angels are making it very clear that that's what 
I'm working towards right now. And that's why Bali isn't working out. Like everything that could have gone wrong has. Holy freaking hell. I'm like, get me out of this country. Where can I go? And I look at videos and everyone's like, Bali is so beautiful and this, this, and this. I was like, the ocean is full of freaking plastic here. You can't swim. Like it looks good until you get in the water and then you have plastic bag wrapped around your leg and you think it's a jellyfish and you're like, ah, take me back. So it's like, be careful what you wish for. I wish for it. I got it. And then I'm like, this is not what I want, but it's been amazing. I haven't regretted this whatsoever. It's, and I'm sure you're probably going through something too. Maybe you have manifested something and you're like, ah, I got it. But I'm like, I don't know if this is how I wanted it to go, but everything is working out and there's a lesson for it. So longer story short, I'm manifesting a new home. Oh, also crazy shit. How have your dreams been going this week? Because I've been having communicate, well, I'm having dreams and communicating with someone who I've never met before is a person, um, but usually the people that I communicate with are people that have passed over or angels. I've never met someone who hasn't been brought into this world. Or well, maybe they have been and I just didn't, I don't know. I'm just getting all of these messages, communicating with someone, literally seeing their name everywhere. I'll tell you more about it later because I can't like to tell you. It's just like, uh, I don't know. It was just a new level of spirituality that's coming up. And I was told that this was going to happen in March. And I was like, oh, I need to move to Bali to meet someone who's going to help me and blah, 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 open up a new level of spirituality. It's like, actually, you can do that yourself. Like, why are you thinking you're going to find this from somebody else? Um, and I have been self-taught the whole way. So I'm like, why is this any different? But, you know, we are where we are and it's okay. Everything is working out for us. Surrender to where you're at. Sol solidify your why. Put the structures in place and know that everything is working out. Comment below, my loves. Give me your flipping updates. I want to hear from you. I really do. And I know some of you get a little bit shy and don't write to me in the comments. You go straight to my Instagram private messages as soon as the episode is finished. And you're like, Mel, I didn't want to tell you, but blah, 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 this is what's going on. I'm like, okay, my loves, thank you. Or also, another thing. Um, please don't email me back if you're on my mailing list um, when I give you like a little overview of weekly angel guidance because I'm getting so many now like I haven't been able to respond to a lot of you from last week. Um, if you want to get in contact with me and it's not regarding to my coaching program, please just send me a private message on Instagram. Um, I've been doing a lot of voice message to you, my beautiful MK Love fam, and it's just the quickest way to to chat to you um, without typing because, oh, you know, I'm a better talker than I am writer. Um, and I'd rather keep it separate. So Instagram is just like, if you've got a question or you want to tell me something, give me some updates because a lot of you are giving me so many updates, especially the ones of you that I have spoken to on strategy sessions. And you're like, Mel, since I've spoken to you and blah, 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 this is what has happened. And I love hearing about that. So thank you. Thank you. And continue to do that over on Instagram. That's, that's where... I don't know. It just feels best. And I feel like I'm at the stage now where I want to separate. I don't want to be mixing in updates with people. So Sean, I know you write to me every single week after I send every single email. Please just do those updates for me on Instagram. It's, it's too much to manage, which is an amazing place to be. Like, I'm so grateful. Like I was, I wanted that for such a long time, but now I'm like putting in the structures and supports to be like, okay, coaching clients, they come first. They are my number one. They are my priorities. Um, yeah, and I just feel like my email is just all mixed up between business and pleasure, if that makes sense. But yeah, have an amazing week, my love. Oh my God. Keep me updated. Let me know. If any of you have any houses in either Kuala Lumpur, London, or anywhere in England, maybe Brighton, um, or anywhere in the UK, really, please let me know because I am seriously ready to book a flight. We're about to call Expedia to change our flights because we had booked flights to Ireland in July for like the 4th of July. Um, and I, I'm, the internet here is just so bad that I can't do coaching. I can upload videos, I can do Instagram stories and posts and stuff like that. But the connection is so bad that it's I can't work here. So we're trying to get out like ASAP. Who knows? Next week could be filmed somewhere else. Another bathtub. You never know. <laughs> Anyways, my love, thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you for being so patient and for allowing me to just be me. No makeup, no eyebrows. This crazy fringe that I cut because I got the worst friggin' haircut in the world, which everything went wrong in February. Oh my God. Ah. Anyways, 
but it's all working out. Like, I'll look back in a year from now and be like, oh my God, do you remember that time you were whinging about the internet and your haircut and all of that? Like, that's hilarious now. And, and I know it's gonna work out and I know I'm rambling and I just saw 444, so that's the stability is being restored and trusting the intuition. All right, my loves, I love you so much. And I'm gonna turn on the spa now. Bye. Oh. Life of a YouTuber. Bye.